everyone, welcome back to the Green Farm channel. This is Claudette with you and I'm here to share a quick tutorial using Pages and Photoshop. In our last video, we had guest YouTuber Delphine show us how to use the Green Farm stamp, digital stamps into a, and make them into a no line um, stamp. So we wanted to show you how to use them in Pages and in Photoshop because not everybody has Microsoft Word. So I thought I would do that and um, I thought I would show you how to do it in Photoshop as well. And then I'm gonna do a little bonus in Photoshop because I know that this tutorial is gonna be super short. So let's get started. We're gonna start with Pages. Go ahead and open your Pages. Let's do, let's delete this. Okay, open up a new page, locate where your stamp is. Um, I will use Cupcake Anya, as you saw, and there she is. So once your image is selected, you can see the binding boxes or the binding box, and then you click on, you're gonna see there's style, image, and arrange. You wanna stay on style, and here's the trick, guys. Go down to opacity and just slide this down until you get the opacity of your no line image that you want. So this is how much I would want, and then all I'd have to do is print. That is it, folks. <laughs> it's super simple, but you know, oftentimes we forget. We're just too thinking it's going to be too technical, but it really isn't. It's just that simple. So that's all you have to do in Pages. Okay, now let's go over to Photoshop. I'm going to click open my Photoshop. I have a new page open. I want to, this is something you don't have to do, but it's the way I set mine up. I'm going to do a white background. Um, and then we will go to the image here, Cupcake Anya, drag and double click. Okay, and then so make sure you're on the layer that the um, Cupcake Anya is on. And then you can go to opacity, just like pages, and go ahead and slide this down to however your, cho your um, choices or whatever your choices in opacity uh, level. So that is really it with um, how to create a no line image using digital image. Now I know probably a lot of you guys already knew this, but there's some people who don't really use uh, stamps, digital stamps as um, in their Photoshop or in pages. So I'd like to, you know, this video was for those who wanted to see how to do it and those other uh, softwares. Okay. Here are my two bonus uh, tutorials or techniques that I promised earlier. Um, like I said, this video is really short, so I wanted to add these two in, but also one of the two will help those who love doing no line coloring, um, but you'll understand when I get it more into the video. Um, let me just show you how to do it first and then we'll talk about it in a few. So essentially, what we're going to do is create a brush out of this image. So these are actual images that we are using, you know, like digital stamps. So what I'm actually gonna do is make them into a brush, which then therefore you can use as an actual stamp in Photoshop. So the brush tool can be used in so many different ways. You can use them as to brush, you know, to paint something on a canvas, or you can use them like a stamp. There are so many different ways, but I'm going to show you how to make this image into a stamp. Now this is gonna be more useful for like sentiments, if you want to recolor the sentiment, you know, so let's say you open up a sentiment and then you just drag it, it's gonna be a black, you know, a sentiment that you wanted to make it like pop and have a little color, this is the way you can do it. But I'm going to use Anya as uh, my reference as to how to create a, a digital stamp. Um, so what you want to do is, since she's the only image on this page or this canvas, you don't need to use the marquee tool to separate her from the other images. So. Um, had there been several other images on this canvas, then you would need to isolate the image you want by using the marquee tool and just selecting that image to create as a brush, okay? So I don't need to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it, and then I have my, uh, we'll go ahead and 
click edit and then we want to go down to define brush preset so go ahead and click that and this is going to pop up and right here is your brush you'll see it so i'm going to rename this tgf cupcake anya hit okay and then now let's see let's create a new canvas and i'm going to do a 12 by 12 because i want to show you how cool this is if you didn't already know how to do this all right so i like to do another layer i like to add them in layers because if i make a mistake i could just delete that layer instead of ruin my entire project so what i'm going to do is let's change this uh, i'm going to stamp her as if i'm stamping on an actual piece of paper but on in photoshop okay i hope this makes sense I'm just clicking to create. I'm making a pattern paper using um, the Anya stamp that you created into a brush. So now I want, the cool thing is, is you can resize her and then do that. So you could create, you know, I mean, you could clearly drag and drop and then resize each image um, if you didn't turn her into a brush, um, yeah, you can do that, but this is so much easier and so much faster. All right. So let's say you're using a sentiment and you know, like I said, the sentiment comes in black, but you want to make it, um, a different color. So I want the sentiment to be red. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the color you want red. There you go. So yeah. This is really fun. <laughs> I like doing this. You can make your little pattern paper um, with Anya or with the sentiments or whatever it that comes in the kit that you want to create um, a background. Um, I could go, I could go ahead and show you more of that later, but I'll make this video short. And so, why do I need to show you this? Not only one is it easy and fun, but just like I said earlier, if you are one of those who like to stamp your no line image in brown ink opposed to black and don't ask me why people like using brown instead of black i'm assuming it's because black is a darker color and um, brown is more natural and it's not as um, prominent when you try and you know make the image a lighter shade of you know from the a lighter shade of the black so I th I'm assuming that's why I don't do uh, no line coloring um, so that is what I'm assuming why people use brown opposed to black so I went ahead and changed my color to the brown or close to it because it looks like it's more burgundy but go ahead and change it to whatever color you want go ahead and stamp it and then go to your opacity and then just change it to whatever you know you, the look you're going for as far as uh no line stamping so i'm happy with that and then i'm going to go ahead and print and cut it and then color it so i hope that this tutorial uh this portion of the video is helpful for you guys and you guys learn something new um, and that you can play around with the digital stamps and i would love to see i mean not just me but the whole team would love to see how you use the digital stamps um, because I know a lot of you guys use them as traditional stamps and so we wanted to give you an option of uh, how to do no line stamping um, but using pages or Photoshop because I know not everybody has words. So I hope this was helpful for you and if you guys have any questions uh, definitely leave them down in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right everyone have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.